Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This video is going to be slightly different to my normal ones, as it's a year since I posted the first video, and also that the layout really got going in earnest. So, two things. Um, I want to, I suppose, celebrate the first year, and also I wanted to celebrate the most surprising aspect is that I've actually managed to hit over 200 subs. In fact, we're just one off the 250, so it'd be nice if I could uh, hit that milestone. So I really wanted to say big heartfelt thanks to all those who have stuck with me. Um, it's been smashing, and, and I've really had some great comments and some really great help as well and it's you know I keep saying it, but it's a bit it's a brilliant community so thank you very much um and also thank you to new subscribers uh hope you're enjoying what you see um it's only average modeling but um i hope that you know people get some interest from it and and that the new folks will uh stay with me so thank you very much so this um video is going to be in a couple of more parts um, there's going to be one part and what is the way forward uh, now for Medway Peninsula and then lastly and I'll put it at the end so as you hang on or you might fast forward but as a thank you I'm going to be doing a giveaway so hang on to the end and there'll be details of what that giveaway is um, but what I wanted to do as well was just um, say part of the community, uh, and I've mentioned it a couple of times, Tim Wells at the Family Model Railway um, during lockdown was doing a daily video, uh, or live stream I should say, and it built up a nice little community I think of sort of 50 or 60 people. Um, and it was really helpful and it was something to look forward to, and so thank you Tim. Now. Tim, um, for his projects, um, he's um, building quite a few different layouts and also um, he's a very talented photographer and he's um, selling some of his photos and he's got a great website and I'll try and put the link in down below. But um, just to show you a couple of photos I've got for the train room, which I'm absolutely delighted with, um, they probably won't look as good on the uh, on, on this video as they do in real life but let me just uh, lean across um, excuse me so the first one is the Glen Pinion viaduct which tip, took on a uh, trip there and I uh, say so, you know it, it's brilliant and I'm really looking forward to putting uh, this up in the train room and then the second one and I'm going to lean across again and apologies um, is if I'm right, it is um, a view of the Milky Way over Tim's local heritage railway line in the Isle of Wight. And as I say, they are stunning and I'm delighted with them. Um, and you can order those if you wish. Um, and they come in a couple of sizes through Tim's website or contact him at Family Model Railway um, on Facebook or on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm really am pleased with them. So there we are. Next up is going to be what's the way forward. What is the way forward then for Midway Peninsula? Well, um, I put a request out to Facebook to if anybody could help me out on what trains uh, or locos I should say would be lo um, typically running in the Medway Kent area um, and I got a great response and somebody suggested these two books and again I'm leaning over but there we are whoops the last days of Kent steam and the other book Kentstein. Now, I only really wanted to get an idea of what was going to be running, but those books are absolutely brilliant. And uh, not only did they give me the locos, they also give me the uh, 
the dates uh, that the photos were taken, an idea of what uh, rolling stock went with them, uh, some are colour photos, very helpful, um, and timings of the uh, of the actual trains. So with that, it was almost like a bit of a light bulb moment, and uh, I got a lot more information than I expected. And uh, therefore, I made a few decisions. One um, that I was going to swap around the platform. So the longest platform, which was um, going to be the upline to London, is now the downline to the Kent coast. So you're looking at uh, uh, Margate, Landsgate, round to Dover. And um, the smaller platform will be the upline to London which will effectively be commuter services. Um, and so that's one change. Now, um, probably over the year, I've been easily uh, sort of influenced by what the locos are about and uh, for sale and all that looks nice and without any real purpose. Um, so I've ended up with some locos that, aren't going to fit in um, with the uh, the area that I want to run. Now, again, looking at that book, it's been great because I found out that um, with nationalisation, which is the area I wanted to run sort of from the early 50s um, through to uh, the uh, British Rail Green Diesels era, um, that section British Rail just brought in locos from different regions where um, there were shortages. So Black Fives uh, ran. That's brilliant. And the GWR stock I've got, um, a couple of them are British, in British Rail livery, so uh, artistic license, they could have been brought in. And in fact, um, down at Dover Docks, they did have an ex-GWR uh, pannier tank wagon. So that's great. Now, there are some what I would call foreigners, so a couple of GWRs that are still in the GWR livery, but as I mentioned before, a little bit of artistic license that they were brought in. So, what I've decided is that we're going to be running in periods. So, we're going to have sort of a nationalisation up to British Rail well, Green, Diesel, that little turnover period. Um, we're then going to be going then from the green to be our blue, uh, on to um, sectorisation. So for me, that's network southeast, privatisation, and the present day. And being a little bit geekish um, with that information I got from those two books, I am going to set up timetables uh, to run to. Now you could say to me, Kev, what um, haven't you got Flying Scotsman? and uh, the uh, Silver Jubilees and Mallard, what you can do with those. Well, again, artistic license, but modern day, they will be rail tours to the Kent coast. So we'll see those running. Um, what am I going to do for uploading videos, um, running sessions? Now, I was thinking of doing... Um, period, so a section of the timetable, as it were. Um, and so you could quite rightly say, well, okay, it's either going to be steam or diesel. But what I'll do is I'll do sections, so the the, the video will have a little bit of um, the steam era, a little bit of uh, up-to-date stuff, a little bit of the other periods, so there should be something for everyone. Um, so what I found out, that were um, the Wainwright C classes, uh, the King Arthur's, the um, M15's, uh, the schools class were very popular around there. So going forward, I shall only be getting steamers from that era. So I hope that gives you an, an idea of what's going to be uh, running on, on Medway. Um, and I hope there'll be interest for everyone. Uh, but yeah, no, that's that is the way forward. 
And so next up is the giveaway. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of running of trains. And, uh, I didn't want the whole of this video, just me uh, prattling on. Um, also, I did notice that the uh, previous couple of uh, videos were um, a little dark, so I put the light on. Uh, not quite playing in June in Kent here. So the giveaway, yeah. Again, I, you know, I reiterate, I want to say a big thank you to you folks. Um, you've been marvellous. So, the giveaway is a, a double celebration, as I mentioned before. And um, I was thinking of what, what to do. Now, I know there's vouchers, but sometimes they're not the easiest thing to organise. Um, do I buy um, a wagon? But then what gauge because i hope even though i model in oo gauge that we've got n gauges but john at piccadilly um having a look and o gauges and then you've got tim at fmr who's all gauges so what do you do um then i had a thought jeff at jumble lane printing um is an excellent guy and uh you know i got my mugs and coasters and he's done two excellent back things for me and I thought what about if I had done uh, the prize that you can spend at uh, Jumble Lane Printing now it doesn't have to be train related you know Jeff will do you a clock or your coasters or whatever um, it can be family um, it can be your pets um, whatever um, so I spoke to Jeff and said, Jeff, look, the little token, um, I wanted to do a prize of uh, 20 pounds, and I'll put a fiver towards the postage. Um, and I said, I'm to spend it you, uh, 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 with yourself. And Jeff, being the fellow he is, said, okay, I'll put a tenner to it, and so it's 30 pounds to spend there. Um, so that is the prize. Um, 30 pounds to spend, at uh, Jumble Lane Printing. So how, how's the uh, giveaway gonna work? There's not gonna be questions or things to answer, or things to spot. Um, 
I'd just like to take in, if Tim doesn't mind, uh, what he did on FMR. And that was to say, just give a shout out, and it can be more shout, you know, more people, more than one, just a shout out to a channel that hasn't got more than 500 subscribers. And let's see if we can give them a boost up. So that will be it. All I'll ask you to do is in this video is to make a comment on who you'd like to nominate. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll in a month's time, um, I will draw the uh, actual giveaway. But the week before, I will do an upload of who has entered and who they have nominated. And I know that YouTube on comments isn't 100%. So if you look through that video and you don't see your name there and you know you've made a comment, then just make a comment in that video. Um, and then I'll make sure, because I want to make sure everybody's in. And to be honest you, uh, as many people get shouts out as they can. And as I say, you can, you can do multiple shout outs. You'll only be entered once, but you can do multiple shout outs. That, that's, that's fine. So I hope you're you think that that's uh, uh, an acceptable prize what i will then do is once i've drawn the winner out i will contact jeff tell him who the winner is and then you just contact jeff through facebook or youtube um, but he's a brilliant guy Re really is helpful so but yeah that's it um so i'm going to start off with a, a couple of shout outs and the first one and let me just check my notes is durban city garden now he's got a great uh, layout and, and, and uh, it's in the early stages but he's got trains running uh it's extensive oo gauge layout and it's including the turntable and the frontage of the national railway museum and it looks absolutely brilliant but he's only got 53 subscribers and i, and I really don't know why it, um it's so low so take a look folks it, it, yeah it's worth it um second shout out um is a repeat of one i've done before but stephen at uh, new bottle station uh he's starting off and uh and uh, i've just noticed that um he's now cleaning his garage out so um let's let's follow him and give him some uh well uh deserved encouragement um a couple of other people who i'd like to say thanks um Lee Wall, um, an ex uh, East Londoner like myself, brilliant uh, uh, channel, great detailing, check his latest video out, but he's been really encouraging. Uh, my old pal John Warner at Piccadilly and now Piccadilly Sidings, superb modeler, really is. And um, he's got more than 500, but I just wanted to put it on record a thank you. Thanks again to Tim at uh, FMR and all the other folks who, who, who have been, been with me. A uh, yeah, really a big thank you. So that's a giveaway. £30 to spend at Jumble Lane Printing. OK, and get those comments coming in. Cheers, everybody. OK, so thanks for watching. And as always, please stay safe. We've still got to stay alert, I think. But these lockdown restrictions are starting to ease, so let's hope it's not uh, too late uh, before we start getting back to what we call normal, whatever that might be. So thank you once again, everybody, and uh, bye for now.